Welcome to this session on mechanical and plumbing drawings. Now that you have some basic HVAC and plumbing elements placed in the model, you can review some of the output available from the model, such as drawings. In this session, you will learn how to open the drawing views and review the drawing information. Select the view group, HVAC plan, from the Manage View Group tools on the lower right of the interface. The HVAC plan drawing model will open. Just as with the other disciplines, this plan is a cut view of the model referenced to the drawing. However, this drawing actually references two dynamic views. In addition to the cut view of the HVAC model, the architectural background is a reference of a cut view in the architectural model that has had its reference presentation changed to halftone. Zoom in to one of the diffusers and ductwork. The line color, weight, and symbology are all determined by the family and part assigned to each element. The ductwork is labeled based on the diameter property that was assigned when placing the ductwork. Mechanical rules are used to extract this information from the model and use it in the drawing annotations. While mechanical rules can automate much of the drawing annotation, additional annotations such as notes and dimensions would be added in this drawing model using standard text and dimension placement tools found on the drawing tab of the ribbon. Now select the view group Plumbing Plan. The Plumbing Plan drawing model is opened. Zoom into the plumbing at the women's toilet room. Note that mechanical rules are not only used to add the annotation, but in the case of the piping, it is re-symbolized to a single line representation. Now select the view group Sheet 101. This will open the model of the sheet. This is a sheet model with a border file attached and each of the drawing models referenced and arranged on the sheet ready for plotting. In this chapter, modeling mechanical and plumbing components. You have modeled the basic components of the HVAC and plumbing systems for the station building. The geometry and information that was modeled in the 3D model is now reflected in the 2D drawings. The one item you still need to model is the platform canopy. In the next chapter, you will apply some of the skills you've learned throughout this course and model a custom glass canopy with tapered wood members. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.